it's not every day you find a pair of lashes stuck to your behinds unless you live with me and then it might be an everyday thing at least every other day so i got my fan on like usual welcome back to my channel it's your girl renee and today for those of you who might stumble upon this video for the first time welcome to my channel I did a video, my last video, definitely check that out. It is a kind of how I got to have this makeup collection that you see. I also have a full tour of my beauty room and everything on my channel. So I'll link that as well. So you guys can go check that out. I get into all the details and specifics and where everything is from. Uh, I don't need this much makeup. It's just that it's my passion, it's my love, and I've been collecting for a really long time. And to this day, I get people on Instagram daily asking me to send them my own makeup. I've talked about this before in my other videos. I'm not even gonna get into it. I'm not even gonna go there. If you wanna know what it takes to build your Instagram from nothing to something, then just keep watching. I'm still kicking myself in the ass for not starting YouTube earlier. I've been really consistent this year, but before that I was kind of just on YouTube and not really consistently putting out videos. So that made me go nowhere really fast and but on instagram it's kind of a different story a different situation and not to sound like i'm bragging or conceited or anything like that but i have been able to take my instagram from you know those few hundred people that you might have that are your people you know in real life and you know, your Facebook friends or the contacts you have in your phone, whatnot. I've been able to take it from that to where I am today, which is 143,000 followers. So 143K, I am nowhere near, um, you know, a top influencer level. I have no, I did have a couple of content couple of content. Wow. I did have some content that did really well. I had a video a few years back, my glitter lipstick, and that ensued glitter lipstick drama gate. <laughs> that's, that's a whole nother story. But so I kind of wanted to make a little video, a little bit of background about how I started on Instagram and how I grew it to what it is today. Make sure you follow me on Instagram as well. Wink, wink, hint, hint. I do lots of giveaways. I do hauls. I do reviews. I do makeup looks and product shots. So for Instagram especially, that is the one platform, at least in my opinion, where A, consistency is number one. So we're just gonna go through, I have this little list in my head about all the main points that I wanted to kind of just get out there and help some of you guys maybe that, you know, have asked for this content and asked for me to make this video. So. First and foremost, I have been on Instagram about seven or so years. The first thing, first and foremost, that you want to do is have a niche. And that is super, super important. And as cute as your baby is, or as beautiful as your new pool that you put in the backyard is, if you want to get somewhere within a community, you need to keep it be that community. That is 
really important. Otherwise, people get confused and if you're a beauty account that's always posting pictures of your baby, it's really hard to tell that you're a makeup account. So um, yeah, that would be my first recommendation is find your niche, whether it's makeup, boating, collecting posters, coins, whatever it is that you love doing, that you have a passion for, that you feel like I could talk about this until the day I die and I want to, then that is your thing and make it your thing because without passion and without the determination and just the love and admiration you have for whatever that subject is, is gonna drive you to succeed. You don't, well, in my personal opinion, you don't want to start Instagram or start YouTube and say, I, I just want lots of followers because then I get free makeup. Or I just want, you know, so many subscribers so that I get this. For me personally, if you have that mindset, it kind of sets you up almost to fail because you're in it and you have this mindset where it's based on numbers and as important as analytics are, you should be focused on your own content first and foremost. You want everything to have a sort of theme to it so that it makes sense if a brand stumbles upon your page or anything like that, or you use a lot of their products, then make it known that, hey, this is my page. This is what I'm all about. You wanna make sure that your bio makes complete sense. Um, one little trick that I have learned is I have an iPhone and I use the notes app and um, it's not as much this way anymore, but it used to be that you had to put like what you wanted in your bio in your notes and then copy and paste it. But um, Instagram has kind of eased up on that a little bit. I need something to drink. So bad. One moment. Okay. By the way, you guys, this look, um, I will have all the details and everything up on my Instagram page. So definitely go check it out there. If it's not up right now, by the time this video goes up, it'll be up shortly. So uh, where as where blah, 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 blah. where was I? Where am I? Who are you? Okay, so so say you love makeup. I do love makeup. And I just started making sure that I was focusing on that. My, lots of people have themes. They have, you know, a certain vibe to their page, whether it be like very tropical or, you know, they'll have a theme. I can't say that I have a specific theme, but what I do is I alternate between having a makeup look and a product shot. And I definitely post every single day. Like stuff comes up, life happens, but you're not gonna get anywhere unless you're consistent. And that pretty much applies now that I have learned a little bit about YouTube, that applies to just about every platform. You can't just put up a post ask people to follow you. And that's another thing, you guys, like I see it all the time and I understand and I appreciate, but if I can go from a few hundred followers of people I knew to 143,000 without asking anyone to follow me or paying for any followers or likes or engagement or anything like that, um, sometimes I will promote a post every now and then, especially like a link to a certain post that's doing really well, just to kind of keep the activity going. 
but I've never actually paid for followers. That is very frowned upon within the community. It's kind of obvious to a lot of us that are on the platform. If one day you had 10,000 and you didn't have any, you know, it happens. Content goes viral. You get a lot of views on one's video or a post or something like that. But for the most part, your engagement kind of, you know, is a little, has peaks and valleys and that's normal. What's not normal is to go from 500 to 5,000 overnight. That kind of is like an ee. Somebody probably purchased something. So, you know, there's all kinds of tools to help you with that. There is an influencer program which is for it's F O H R. I definitely recommend that I am on there. So I have guaranteed, 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 authentic following. They authenticize your audience and see, you know, if you have a lot of bots, then they don't verify you as authentic. So um, you're able to sync up all and link your social media. You can also, um, it's free by the way, and also take advantage of having a press kit for does them for you. You just literally put your social media outlets in there, sign into them and it's safe. By the way, like I don't, not gonna sit here and recommend anything that I haven't personally used myself, that there, there's no sketchy shit. I just don't do it. I just don't get down with it. And, um, you know, when the algorithm hit, when Facebook advertising came to Instagram a few years back, it really affected, I could say, just about everyone. I remember even hearing that like Justin Bieber bought followers because he needed them, you know, like however many million wasn't enough, he needed more. But then he lost them all in one night, at least the, the ones that he purchased, you know. So I would definitely just, just I caution you not to do that. It, it's easy to do, you know, but the cons definitely outweigh the pros and they're also starting to crack down on that a lot. So, you know, be very careful and be very aware of anything or anyone that says that they can give you likes and followers and everything. It's just better to do it the old fashioned way. And that way you get the satisfaction too of saying like, I took this picture, I did this, and pay attention to your analytics. Make sure, make sure, 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 that you switch your profile to public. Make sure that your platform is not only public, but you have your contact details in your bio. It's easy to read, it makes sense, sweet, simple, short, to the point. Make sure that you either have a link to either your YouTube channel or another link that brings in more audience. And then that brings me to yet another point. So a lot of these apps and social media apps kind of go together. Like Tumblr is great for blogging. So I have Tumblr, Pinterest, Snapchat, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. I feel like there's some I'm missing, but basically I am on every one. And with Instagram, you can log in, obviously set up a business account. And for that, you need a separate Facebook business page. So I'm not the best educator when it comes to that kind of stuff, but you can definitely look it up. There is all kinds of stuff on how to get your, um, you know, your Instagram 
as a business and have it attached to your Facebook business page. And that has to be, all Facebook pages are public. So you can still have your personal Facebook be private, but your business page has to be public. And you don't have to put it on your phone number or, or your address unless you really want to, but I caution you not to. I don't. I don't even have like where I live publicly available. I just am in Seattle-ish. And then other than that, just be consistent. Try your best. Your audience, they are depending on you. Whether you have 50 followers or 5,000 followers, make sure that you are providing, like you're a business, you're a service. You are bringing something to the table for other people to see, to enjoy, to talk with. So as soon as you post, try to not post something and then just like immediately fall off the face of the earth. It's always a good idea to communicate with your audience because it just helps them stay connected to you. And that's also been something that I feel has been one of my strengths. And also it just comes naturally to me. I love just talking to people. I love helping people. I love, you know, just knowledge is power. And the more you know, and the more people you know, and the more people you talk to and get their opinions, and they might tell you their friend about you and your channel or your page. So it's all, you know, a social network thing and they all kind of tie together. So with Instagram, you can tie your Tumblr and your Twitter and your Facebook page. So you can kind of combine all those and when you log in with Instagram to all of them, they will all kind of tie together so that your content can be found on the web, not just on Instagram, but you want the whole point of going viral and the whole point of doing this is so that your content is seen to not just within the Instagram community, but just on the internet as a whole. So definitely take advantage of all that. And I know there's, there's courses, there's all kinds of stuff, but those are the things that have truly helped me. Sometimes it gets discouraging. Sometimes you'll put something up and it'll seem like not many people saw it or you'll look at your insights and you'll be like, damn, 71 people, 71,000 people saw this picture and only 200 liked it. It happens to me. <laughs> Speaking from experience. And that sucks. It doesn't feel great. But don't let anyone or anything stop you because that is the only thing you are guaranteed to fail if you stop or if you quit. Just don't give up. Don't quit. Know that you can do this. Know that if you have love for doing it, it'll just come out. It'll just be easy for you to communicate, for you to do this and for you to succeed. And yeah, I just wanted to share what I've done and what I know and a little bit of my story on basically how I kind of got known on Instagram. So I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what else you would like to see from me. Definitely check out my last video. I did a how I basically got this huge, massive makeup collection. So I love you guys and I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying cool. It's a hot one here in the Seattle area and my makeup is melting off my face. So I'm gonna go, but I love you guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and I will see 
you in my next video.